Oh, she get all fade away, so don't let her destroy you. Man, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. I'm back with another episode. This like episode like what, 16, 17 probably, I think. I don't even know which one, but we've been doing so many. We've been rocking and rolling. And I'm live with a real motherfucking nigga in this bitch, man. Tell him who you is and what the fuck you do in this motherfucker. What's the word, man? This young boy drinking and shit, man. Motherfucker. Make music and shit, rap type shit. Facts, facts. And you've been doing this shit for a while, man. I, I've been knowing you for a real long time. You've been hard working, real hard hustle out here in the streets, so, you know what so. I'm saying? Definitely making a name for yourself. So let the world know like where they can find your music at and stuff like that. I mean, you know, I shit on YouTube, uh, my shit gonna be on all platforms again. My shit was, it got taken down, it's gonna be back up, so I just gotta get my shit right. Right. But y'all can only be finding all this other shit on my channel, on Both no, Sides yeah, Productions, so tap the fuck in. We just played that last joint right there. Tell me what was the inspiration behind that song. I mean, shit, that shit was for my baby, man. Like, I just wanted that shit. I wanted her to be in the song and shit. I wanted her to be a part of that shit with me type shit. Right. Just pretty much, like... That shit. All my shit though, my shit be from the heart though, type shit. Really. <laughs> Facts. And that's how it gotta be. Like what you what you think about a lot of people's music when, when you hear it and it's not really from the heart? Like, oh no, like cause like that's all like that's what I got it. That shit gotta look like, you know, like I gotta see it like motherfucker pushing that shit out like they actually going through that shit. Like right. it gotta be some legitimate shit. Like like all my homies and shit that rap, like we all, you know, got some shit going on. We been through some shit, so it's legit everything we talk about. Half, half the time, you know. Got to have like, some meaning to it, you know what I mean? Home. Like, like when, what's your process when you're making your music? Like, you know, do you feel like you got to go through some shit to, in order to write it down and go through it, or you feel like you could just go up there and have fun and do what you want to do? I mean, I could do both. Like, I could sit up there and play and shit, or I could, you know, I could sit there and think and, like, actually, like, think about deep and shit, like, deep, deep shit, like, shit right. that I actually, then, you know, I got trauma for, trauma from, all type of shit, just shit that I could just look back and be like, that shit hurt me deep and shit, and then right. I could just put that shit in there any type of form. Where you, where you rank yourself right now amongst Minnesota artists? Top five type, or, you know, you still feel like you got some work to do? I got some work to do, I ain't gonna lie, but I feel like, I'm, I mean, I'm up there. I got heat type shit. So Facts, a lot though. of people fuck with me too, though. Facts, though. Definitely, definitely. But no, so <coughs> what was your what was your thoughts when Draco passed away? You know, rest in peace, Draco. You know, I, I did a lot of work for bro. You know, he was a real solid, real solid brother. You know what I mean? So what was your thoughts when your brother passed away? I mean, shit. I really couldn't think. Like, I was fucked up, fucked up. Like, I damn near was feeling a little... I was going to, like... I was going to lose it at a certain point. I had to really sit, like, and actually gain, like, a lot of shit, like... Like, why I should, you know, just keep going forward and shit. Just right. think about this shit deep and shit, but hell yeah, that shit hurt me deep and shit. Like, it was a... It was a wild, wild time for that one, for sure. Yeah, like, yeah. just out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Just, you know, waking up and then hearing the news like that, you know? So I could just imagine how you, you felt, you know, going through that. So definitely got my condolences still to this day, you know what I'm sure. saying? And this is one reason why we working hard to continue so, um, Bro Dream and everything he had pushing towards it, you know what I'm saying? So... Definitely. I see you continuing the legacy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, You're doing yeah. a lot of big things for your brother. So well, I'm pretty sure he looking down, smiling, proud of so, you. You know what I'm all, saying? I mean, all this shit, all, all this shit I do for bro, it ain't everything I do with the music shit to shit, you know, everything, like taking care of my daughter, all this shit for bro, I feel like I couldn't have did it Facts. without, like, shit. I couldn't, I really couldn't do it, like, without, like, some type of, you know, some shit pushing me. I'm right. like... You feel like you feel like that gave you that that extra push you needed? Yeah, like for real, for real. Like I probably would have been, I could have been gone right now, type shit. Like my daughter, she came, type shit. So that shit, it like it woke me up a little bit, and it it just really helped, type shit. But so what's 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 one thing you want to tell people about? You know, when they lose someone close to them, like how to maintain and stay focused. Shit, I mean, just shit. I mean, it's life, type shit. You gotta just. You got to overcome that shit at some point. I mean, it's going to be hard to sell at one point, especially in the beginning. But, I mean, you got to... You got to push through. You got to look at your family and shit and see what... It's more there. Facts. <laughs> Facts, no. That, that definitely, though. No, that's 100. So, let me ask you. What's one thing that drains your energy from a woman? That drains my energy from a woman? Yeah. Like... Dream up. Like something that you You just don't tolerate 
And it's just draining your energy from a woman that you're not going to tolerate, though. But it's draining. You know what I mean? Uh, just, uh, shit, V, it's like, oh, no, not letting me get no paper. Like, <laughs> holding me back from getting paid because they want me yeah. to be there with them, be fucked up with them. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Like, you know, just women that do that in general, you know, we they got to understand, like, you know, you can't have all... Of a of a man's time when he's trying to provide, you know yeah. what I mean. Like if you got, if he's trying to provide and do what he got to do for you and his family, you got to let him go do what he got to do. You can't well, hold definitely. him back from that. You know, you you messing up every opportunity that could be there for y'all in general. You know well, what I definitely. mean. So that's if, true. If he working hard and you and he needs to do what he got to do, you need to let him go and handle that so he can bring that back to the table. You know what I mean. So, um, bro, definitely. No, yeah, that make a lot of sense though, for sure, for sure, because <laughs> motherfuckers need that pay <laughs> for real, for real. Like that's number one, man. Do you feel like do you feel like everybody needs guidance in their life? Like some type of mentor? Somebody need a lot of people need that push. I feel like some people a lot of people I mean, if you start off like with I mean shit like your people's been there for you and shit and you actually got help and shit, I mean, you shouldn't really like I don't know, you should damn near be able to had that shit type shit, but I feel like a lot of people that be self like in this shit by themselves or gotta grow up and get it themselves. Sometimes like they won't know about that extra push that be a lot of help like type shit. That, right, you know that they could get, but they won't know because they they don't get it. They don't shit. reach out either. Yeah, you know what I mean? That like, too. So, a lot of a lot of times people they be like, oh, I need the help, but that never reaching yeah. out that extended hand. They just want somebody to help them. You know what I mean? That's true for sure. And that that can't be the case. You know what I mean? And, and ain't, ain't gonna lie for me in my mind, I think everybody needs some type of guidance, some type of mentor to yeah. to guide them through life. You know, even your mentor need a mentor. You yeah. know what I mean? So like. Everybody's life is different, yeah, but everybody needs somebody to keep them on that right track. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And that's why I ask that question, like, do you feel like everybody need guidance? Because in my mind, hell yeah, you know. I definitely, I feel like, because I mean, that's how I was, I mean, I, I had it like, like you know, how that's how I felt for like when my big brother was here. He was definitely that one person that was right. always pushing me and shit. But I, I, when I lost, bro, like, I had to do it myself. So now it's like I get, you know, try to, I mean, I probably get guidance from like, a different way, form, or fashion, but right. it's like not how to, like how my big brother was re- receiving it. And, I mean, like how he was giving it to me, times yeah, and right. I was receiving it from him. Right. What's your thoughts on like, you know, people finding guidance in the celebrities? You know, what I mean, stuff like that. People chasing after celebrities and doing what celebrities do. I mean, I feel like personally, if it's like positive and it's good and it's working out for you, keep going, but. If you doing it and it's like, and you like cloud chasing and shit, and it's not like, it's not, it's not authentic. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's like some geeky shit. Don't sit there and play with your life because you ain't gonna get nowhere. My right. gonna look at you like a clown your whole life. Facts, facts. Not real shit though. What you think is likely to, to go viral? Um, drama or positive, positive, uh, you know, comment? Drama or just you know, people I being mean, positive. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we both know, like, the drama shit, people love that shit, but the positive shit, it's always, if, when it go viral, I mean, like, when it get, like, whatever, you know, get, the good shit get a chance to go viral, it's always better than the bad. But, right. You know, but. But we know, people, likely, the bad the, shit is more, yeah, the more to go viral. the bad shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah no, for real, for real. That's, that's definitely true, for sure, for sure. Where do you see your music going in in the next decade? Hopefully, man. Far shit. That's I be I push it for. I will I be doing this shit for this shit in my blood. This shit for Draco. So I ain't gonna stop. But I don't know. I mean, hopefully that shit gets somewhere though for sure. Yeah. No, I can see you doing big things, man. Like, do you see yourself being in the industry, or you just rather be underground? I mean. I see myself being in the industry type shit. I could do that shit. Like, I I feel like I see myself working with some people. Like what? Get, what artists would you want to work with in the industry? Uh, artists, uh, probably Young and Ace. Young and Ace. Uh, Lil Ra. 
probably, I don't know. Uh, oh, would you fuck with Soldier Boy? Hell no. Nah. You don't fuck with Soldier Boy? I, I, I would fuck with Yeah, you, you ain't wanted you or whatever, you know what I'm saying? His ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my boy in that one minute, next minute, he gonna be on bullshit. He's gonna be like, man, I did all that shit you doing first. Man. <laughs> wow. I did it all. You know, Soldier Boy, he did everything first, except tell the truth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but yeah, definitely, man. Do you do do, do you do anything other than just rap? Like, do you act? You know, dance uh, or anything else? Hell no, I, I do. I be I'm a tattoo artist type shit. I oh, so you do tattoos? I do tattoos. So. Oh, okay. So okay, do you did any tattoos like on your body yourself? Uh, yeah, I did my whole chest area. Really? Yeah. By yourself? Hell yeah. Sheesh. My arm is with numbing cream. Did it, did it did it come out the way you like it though? Hell yeah. Okay, it okay. came out some way. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need some tattoos, man. You got like a link or something like that where people can go, or it's just like direct uh, direct you contact him directly? Page. I got shit Facebook or my uh yeah, my number. Shit, if you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. What can you tell people about like just living in Minnesota and the lifestyle in Minnesota? Uh, I mean, it's cool. It's cool when you know, when you trying to just start some shit, start somewhere type shit, or you know, right. it's a couple places here. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't all bad type shit. It's a lot of good positive people here. It's a lot of a lot of people that want to help and shit. But right, right, you just gotta look for it type shit. But hell yeah, I feel like you want to go crazy. You want to get off the ground though. I feel like you need to expand, especially like just. Move around. I don't think Minnesota a place to try to like go. Like you know, like, you think you think it can get built like that though. Like you know, with the most structure. Definitely, I feel like Minnesota. Like we try. I mean, we going crazy with that shit. Like we push it towards that way for sure. Right, right. Because we got some motherfuckers that's hot in the city type shit. Everybody, you know. Right. So I feel like once. I mean, I think it's bound to happen at some point. Some point, yeah. Down the line, for sure. You be you be performing out here too. Uh, hell no, nah, not yet. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Nah. Hell no, nah. I fuck around. I fuck around this summer, though. I might perform. I might Facts. do some shit. Red carpet or something. Facts. So when so when can we expect something new to drop? Is it like a, a date stamped or you just you just dropping that wheel? Uh, no, nah, next month. I got a video. I shot a video um, on Draco's birthday. Right. But, uh. I supposed to be dropping that bitch. I went for my brother to get out of jail and shit. Because he shot that bitch with me. But free dating and shit, man. It's us. <laughs> but yeah, when he get out of shit, we're going to make some shit. We're going to drop that bitch. We got some more shit on the way. You know, my big brother Benji to go. He got some shit on the way. In fact, shout out Benji. We just had him on the show. You know what I'm saying? You know what's going on? Yes, sir. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely though, man. Definitely, definitely. Uh, definitely can't wait to hear the new shit dropping from you. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you're gonna have some classics coming. You know what I'm saying? So what can we expect off the new music that you're dropping? Shit, I mean y'all gonna hear this shit. Y'all gonna it's a whole bunch of DG shit, man. Y'all already know Draco gang shit. There's gonna be a lot of that this summer. We gonna be teething shit, man. Facts, That's really it. Running Facts. that shit up. So. Can you tell the world what broke you mentally that made you stronger? I mean, I feel like it's losing. I mean, it's losing my big brother and my best friend. But really, that I mean, I still be fucked up about that shit. But I be, you know, it's motivated. It's motivation, like a motherfucker, you know. Especially for the ones I got people that I got still here with me that I could at least. Do something for type shit. Facts. But yeah. my goal is shit to get like, you know, make something happen. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to open up like a shop and shit. Get my LLC and shit for this shit. And then I'm gonna be doing shit though though. Like I'm gonna be having shit in play, like trying to do shit. Facts. For so for so. Okay, okay. Real nigga, man. Be working this shit, man. Hell yeah. You want to give out any shout outs to anybody out there? Shit. The motherfuckers I already gave a shout out to. Uh, <laughs> Benji the Go, man. Shout out my big brother. Shout out Day Day. Free Day Day. Uh, you already know, man. Both Sides Production. My dog. 
I fuck with it, man. You know, we appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, man. You know, we got to yeah. top it up, man. Is that something you got to get off your chest or something you want to, like, you know, get off, you know, tell the world something? Like, is that something you want to talk about while I got you on the show? I mean, shit, I really, shit, like, it ain't really, I would be a tour with the world, so, like, I don't be, like, you know, like, I don't right, really right. got, like, some shit going on, but. You ever feel like you should, like, just tune in and see what's going on? Not, like, be in the mix, but just see what's going on, you know what I mean? Hell just yeah. so you can have an insight, you know what I mean? <coughs> I do. I always, because I, there's times where I could be in the mix type shit. Yeah. But I feel like when I do, it be, like, not good shit, or it be positive shit, it turn into bad shit. Like, motherfuckers get right. tweaking this shit. You feel, like, you feel like it's because of your image, specifically, or they not, like, on... They don't treat you treat it like as a business point, you know what I mean? Yeah, it ain't it yeah, motherfuckers take that friendly shit too likely. Like, you know, they take they take that away from what's going on and right. how we could, you know, make some type of shit. Right. They right. just get back they you know, it's just always some friendly shit. It's always some let's do this and shit and then one one time like one time y'all on some real money making shit, so you feel like this person valid. You get back with them next time. It's it's bullshit. It's a, right? Yeah, it's another story. Yeah, and then and then it's just never work out again. Like you just not fucking with them and shit. So it's like, y'all, whatever y'all was gonna build or make happen type shit, it, it never work out. So it's like, that's why I don't be in the mix like that. I try right. to get locked in with people. I try to fuck with people, but it's just, and that's that's why we building this up right here so we can get that platform for for everybody the right way. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't want nobody to come over here and feel like, oh man, bro ain't bro ain't do this right like he's supposed to. Like, you know, yeah. I'm working just like y'all trying to figure well, out new methods and ways yeah, to make this yeah. motherfucker pop. You feel me? So for my sure. goal is to get y'all heard, get y'all voices out there so y'all can have something, you know what I'm saying, to look at and, and show people like, hey, we working in the city. You know, we really yeah. doing this. And we got the Step Up podcast to go and voice our opinion that. So y'all know what to do. Artists gonna tap the fuck in, man. Like, so, you looking to do features with artists out here? Uh, I mean, I really, I ain't been, you know, I ain't been chopping it up with nobody. I want to though, shit. I mean, a motherfucker hit me up, I'm definitely gonna go crazy. Facts. So, so yeah, no, I can definitely hear you on some dope features with a couple artists up here for sure. So yeah, I definitely, you know, see see that happening down in the future. You know, I feel like yeah, features yeah. is where it's at though too. So start tapping in with the feature side, so, it'll get so. you a little bit more buzz with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. but definitely though, you on the rise on your own <laughs> doing what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you can definitely make it solo. It ain't gotta be with features, but features do add a little bit more revenue. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So we always gotta think about that as well. You know what I mean? But but definitely though, man, where you see the where you see the rise of music going in the next few years? Because right now it look like it's going back down. You know what I'm saying? From considering how rap was going and the rap where it's at. Right Right now, with nobody really having bars or shit to say, you know what I mean? Like, where you think it's going? Like, for you talking about Minnesota? No, nah, just music in general, you know, industry. Because really, really, right now, like, who really saying something? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like the motherfuckers who is saying something already been heard. Facts. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like, or they, or they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't being heard enough. Yeah, type shit. Or yeah. Like, you know, motherfuckers like, oh, yeah, we on to the next now type shit. Right. People's yeah. attention span be just too too fast. Like, oh, we heard yeah, this yeah. person. That's what the next person got to say. But then we heard this person. But a lot of people who doing it, too, they all sound alike. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? So, shit, I'm right. Motherfucker got to be different and really switch up the flow. Like, you know, so at this sure. point, the world need a different type of flow. You know what I mean? A different type mm-hmm. of melody, harmony. Whether if it's country or whatever, but you know, I feel like motherfuckers need to put it together and come up with a banger. You know what I'm saying? So definitely for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. So yeah, when can we expect that video to drop? Shit, that bitch for the drop. That bitch gonna be that bitch drop somewhere, some in the middle of next month somewhere. I don't know the specific date, but that bitch from the drop though. It's gonna be somewhere. I'm gonna let y'all know like Beginning of March though, Pacific Day for sure. So. Facts, 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 facts. Definitely, man. We definitely can't wait for these motherfuckers to drop, man. You already know what's going on, man. Uh, is there anything else you wanna you wanna say tell to the world? You got anything else? Shit, man. Just wait for this shit to drop, man. Matter of fact, I got one for you, man. Let the world know a positive message that you wanna tell them about, you know, just Going forward in life, tell the world something like that. I mean, shit, like man, whatever y'all get, whatever you got going on, man, don't stop. That shit gonna, that shit gonna take off eventually. <clears throat> don't let, don't be listening to no bullshit. Don't let nobody talk crazy about what you got going on. Facts, real shit. 
And we're going to end it that way, man. You know what the fuck going on. Tap into the podcast. Step up to the motherfucking mic, man. I'm with your boy, Draco. You know what's going on, man. Tap the fuck in, man.